Hello everybody out there in YouTube land, Noodle here, um, and we're back. We're back in Testificadia, and uh, I still sound sick, uh, because I'm bulk recording these. Yay for bulk recording, yay. Awesome. Okay, so uh, thank you for everybody who uh, wrote down in the comments uh, last time about what video you wanted. Um, I don't know what you wrote, because like I said, I'm bulk recording these, but I will definitely check those out and leave my own opinions and comments and stuff like that. Um, and <clears throat> I, I, I just kind of want to do whatever you guys feel like, uh, I should do. I was looking at my channel, and, uh, like I said, I was cleaning it up. I started this rant, and I didn't even go anywhere with it. I was cleaning up my channel, fixing links, uh, and I noticed that a majority of the games that I play are endless games. They, they never fucking end. They never end. The girls never came. Um, <clears throat> and... It's kind of annoying to me because I will never, ever, ever finish a fucking series. Not like Race to the Ender Egg or something like that. But, I mean, like, there's never going to be an ending. There's no completions to it. Even with SimCity, the, the, the most that'll fucking happen is um, my fucking city fails and I die. And that's it. Like, there's no real conclusion. And it's a little bit annoying. Uh, that's kind of why I suggested... Uh, playing games that that do have an ending um, <clears throat> games that that like I say like like there there is a definitive goal like we have to beat it and it will be beat um, so I mean just keep that in mind uh, when trying to make your decision about what you want um, for me to play on Sunday uh, if you guys want like a banished series uh, I'm not gonna like I'll do it I have banished I love that game but, once again, if you're going to pick, like, an endless series, like, um, like, let's say Banished, or, uh, like, More Sim City, or, um, I don't know what other endless games I have, like, The Sims, or just whatever, um, then, I mean, take into consideration that I'm probably going to put a limit on everything that we can do, uh, in said game, <clears throat> as far as interacting and all that stuff is concerned. Um, all right, so that there's there's that, that's it. That's it on my opinion on that uh, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys uh, You guys just let me know what you want All right, uh, so we're moving on uh, last time. I said that I had uh, something to talk to you guys about it had to do with money It was a touchy subject um, And so uh, here we go. No no better way than to just to fucking jump right in it and uh, and get your nuts punched off from the get-go All right, so uh, as you guys know uh, nobody likes to talk about money. Nobody. Not anybody. Uh-uh. No, no, no. You'll never find a YouTuber. You'll never find the Yogscast or, uh, you know, uh, Harshly Critical or any of the other people out there in YouTube's lands talking about money. Um, uh, unless they are raising money or, or they are running some sort of fundraiser, uh, that involves money. Other than that, no one talks about it. Why? Because it's a fucking taboo subject. Um... <sighs> And I agree. I agree. It's a fucking taboo subject, and it should not be taken lightly, uh, no matter what. Uh, however, um, I do feel that it is important that we, me and you, sit down and discuss this at least a little bit. Now, wh what is it, Noodle? What, what, what do you want to discuss about money? Well, here's this. What no fucking YouTuber is willing to admit, but it's all true, is that... Uh, oh, shit. I fucking fell. I, I fell really far. I didn't. I, I fell out of a two-story building. It wasn't that big of a deal. Um, but... Oh, shit! How the fuck did you get in here? You son of a bitch! Oh, God. I'm being swarmed. Oh, no! My city! He didn't really get that much. Uh, he got, like, some grassland. How the fuck did he get in here? There's gotta be like dark spots all over the fucking place. Uh, he was like roaming around through here. Did I did I not close a gate or something? I thought I closed all the gates. Uh, oh, look at all this dark area. All right. What the fuck? All right, so uh, anyway, moving on back to money. Um, everybody does YouTube videos and you get money from it, believe it or not. If you, there's, there's, it's called monetization. 
Uh, and based off of views and how many people watch your shit and how many people subscribe and like and blah, blah, blah. Uh, mostly how many people view. Um, you get money. Money. Now, you guys are probably wondering why. If, if you don't know this, I'll put that out there first. If you don't know this, you might be wondering why so many YouTubers are like, blasting out hey like subscribe fucking thumbs up like fucking comment do everything and they have like big banners and they fucking rub it in your face uh there's a reason why they do that and, and the reason is actually quite simple uh, that is uh i need to start organizing these fucking chests i swear to gods the reason is is because the more you like a video, the more you dislike a video, the more you interact with a video. That is, leave a comment, subscribe, uh, fucking like, dislike. It makes the video more popular. Uh, you might not like it, but YouTube will say, wow, a lot of people are really interacting with this video. Therefore, it must be a popular, if not touchy, subject. So they kind of bump it up as far as what will be seen. Now, if you guys have ever, like, made a YouTube channel before, uh, you guys will probably know that, um, or you guys probably know that, like, uh, you can make a video and then you search for it, and then your video will be, like, on the 800th fucking page. <laughs> um, and you're wondering, like, wow, that fucking sucks. Like, well, nobody's ever gonna fucking see my video there. I wonder why that is. Well, it's like that because your video is not popular. I hate to break it to you. Um, <clears throat> and it's not popular, not for any fault of your own, but it just it hasn't created that kind of um, that kind of interaction that YouTube is sort of like, oh, it's new. There's nothing really there, so we're just gonna go ahead and bump it to the bottom of the list. And if people all of a sudden like it, and they start liking it and interacting and subscribing and doing all that shit, well, then it's obviously good, and it obviously has has potential, and so we will go ahead and bump it up the list. And, of course, as you know, if a video gets bumped up the list and becomes even more popular, then all of a sudden it starts popping up on everybody's sidebar saying, hey, we recommend that you should watch this. Why? Because this bitch is, like, really fucking popular. People really tend to like it. Um... So yeah, so the more you like, subscribe, and do all that kind of stuff, the, the more popular you're making the video. And a lot of YouTubers, like, especially, like, negative YouTubers, they get a lot of, like, harsh and, like, really critical, like, like, oh, you fucking suck, you're fat, or you're stupid, or I hate you, or, you know, go eat a dick and die, or, you know, whatever else people comment with hate. You think you're being funny, or you think you're being a troll, and you think that you're being fucking clever doing all this, but what you're doing is actually making them more fucking popular. The best way to, like, screw somebody over if you don't like them is ignore them. I, I, that sounds so fucking elementary, but it's true. If you don't like a fucking YouTube video, you don't like a YouTuber, ignore them. Don't like, don't comment, don't fucking argue with their people on their fucking page. Ow! The best thing that you could fucking do is ignore them. Why? Because you are not contributing to their popularity. There's no way to make somebody unpopular on YouTube besides just fucking ignoring them and hope that they go away. Um, <clears throat> I don't care for popularity. I'm not here to win a fucking contest. Um, I, I really don't give a shit. You guys like me, you don't like me, I don't care. Uh, because like I said from day one, man, I make these videos for me. I, that's nice that you guys fucking watch them, and it's awesome, and I think it's great that we can share this experience. That somebody out there actually gives a shit about what I have to say, that's fucking crazy. I, I don't even give a shit about what I have to say half the times, and you guys are like, oh, man, you guys are great. So, thank you for, for everybody out there, I really do appreciate it, I do. Um... That's why, like I said in the last video, I don't ever beg for likes or subscribes or anything like that. But if you guys want to and, you know, you give that stuff up, man, super kudos to you. I'm really happy. Noodle, you're beating around the bush. What the fuck does any of this have to do with money? And why are you fucking being all jittery about this subject? Okay, so thank you, uh, random YouTuber out there who just fucking yelled at me. Uh, I'll get to the point. The whole fucking point of this goddamn rant was because the more popular your shit is, the more people watch it, and the more that people watch it, the more views you get, and that means bigger paychecks. Um, for whatever reason, my fucking Wipeout video was a goddamn fluke. It really was. I have no idea why it was popular. People were talking about the fucking pig spinning and strike fucking sucking at life and that he should fucking disconnect from the fucking the, the life internet. Like, <clears throat> whatever happened with that, 
it started generating enough revenue that it covered our rent. Mm -hmm. Th that is mine and baby girl's rent. Um, and that was during a time when I was on my like three or four or five month hiatus where I didn't fucking, I think it was like almost six month hiatus. Yeah, it was like six months, right, baby? Yeah, it was a six month hiatus where fuck, man, I didn't make a single goddamn video and it was generating enough revenue that we could pay our rent. And that was great because during that fucking hiatus, I was working my ass off and I'm talking I was doing minimum wage working fucking 12, 13, 14 hour goddamn days seven days a week for I like almost three months I didn't have a fucking day off at all and I was fucking working my fingers to the bone not even making money and there was no lie like we were like zero dollars in the coffer and all of a sudden it'd be like ching ching 800 bucks from YouTube fucking thanks YouTube Jesus Christ like that was unexpected money and it helped us out and I have to say that everybody who hated or liked or fucking commented on fucking Wipeout for whatever goddamn reason, I appreciate it because you fucking kept our family from being poor or like starving or anything like that during that pretty rough time. Um, so appreciate it. Now, here's the issue. All of that money went away um, and that's fine because we don't necessarily need it. Uh, anymore uh, we're we're not rich we're comfortable I guess is the best way to say it we're not I guess we're not fucking poor but we don't have any money to spare <laughs> does that make sense like all our bills are paid everything's cool we don't owe nothing to the mob uh, but we're most certainly not doing all that well to do and YouTube probably does about a hundred bucks a month give or take now uh, it's dwindled down quite a bit and that's fine if I lose popularity oh okay well that's just the way it goes I had my five minutes of fame and then that's it but, however, there's more to the Misfits than just me. There's the rest of the Misfits. And I don't want to throw them under the bus or put them in the fucking spotlight, but the original point of the money wasn't to fucking pay my rent. The original point of the money was to go to Misfit Inc. To, for these guys to, to give these guys video games, like $60, $70 fucking video games that we can just be like, here, here you go. Oh, your fucking laptop broke? Here's the money for a new laptop. Do you need recording software? Here's the money for that. As long as it goes into these guys making videos and generating a little bit of revenue off to the side or just having views or just letting them fucking have fun, that's what I wanted the money to be for. And so far, dude, I bought a few things on Steam. I, I, I try to give Strike and, 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 and Fat Kid, you know, stuff when I can. But... Once again, it just comes down to what What do we need more? Do we need Steam games or do we need to fucking pay the bills? Mm -hmm. And that's where we come into a fucking pickle. And this is kind of a big reason why I don't fucking make as many videos as I used to. Because now, because of this money, it's not seen as something as a labor of love. Because now it's sort of like, I look at my, at my Google accounts and I'm like, okay, how much expendable income am I going to have this month that I can flex? You know what I mean? Like, it's it's almost like a second fucking job. Um, <clears throat> and not that I don't enjoy it. I don't want to fucking put out that vibe. Like, I don't enjoy making YouTube videos anymore. <clears throat> but I am saying that I do want to fucking Nirvana the fuck out of this. And that is completely fucking sell my soul to the goddamn devil. And, no, not suck start a shotgun strike. But to sell my soul to the fucking devil. So that way I don't have to fucking work anymore. Can you imagine that? If I made enough money on fucking YouTube that I did not have to work anymore. That would be fucking awesome. Like if all bills were covered, like even if, if we were exactly where we were right now with all bills being paid and we don't have like a lot of expendable income, but we have a little bit where we can go out to eat every now and then, like, like to have that without having to work would be great. And what would I do with my time? I would make fucking videos, of course. I'd fucking continue making more videos. And I think that's every real big YouTuber's dream is to be able to live financially off of this, not have to go to work, and and be able to create content and have everybody enjoy it. And 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 that's the and then this becomes our job. This this fucking me building this stupid building in the virtual world becomes my job. Well, how can that be possible, Noodle? Well, it happens a lot, but not as often as you think. It's it's like a like it's a really rare ratio that that happens. And why? Because because your view, you. That's right, you. You right there. Yes, you watching my video. Your view 
to watch my video isn't worth shit. It's not. Uh, a long time ago, uh, I'm trying to. I'm, I want to decide what I want up here. I think I'm gonna have like a little cafe, like just tables and stuff up here. Uh, that'll be fine. Um, your view a long time ago used to mean something, um, and it, it it used to mean a lot actually. It it meant that um, people, if you watched a cat video and it had a hundred thousand views, Jesus Christ, that must be the funniest fucking cat video in the goddamn world. Um, but now views are in the millions like so if you look off to your sidebar I guarantee you you guys will see cat videos and you're like okay all these cat videos have a hundred thousand fucking views okay whatever but then you see a cat video with a million views and you're like that's got to be the funniest fucking cat video ever you see what i mean like your views are decreasing in value and not only are they decreasing in value like in that aspect they're also decreasing in value in youtube's eyes your fucking views are worth less money now than what they were worth 10 years ago that might not mean a lot to you guys but to us who kind of get money off of your views that's like saying for every a thousand views i don't get five dollars anymore for every a thousand views i get two dollars now that's a lot. That means I have to get almost double the amount of fucking views that I used to in order to get less money than what I was making years ago. It's fucking atrocious. It's, it, it sucks is what it does. It fucking sucks. Um, and there's not too much that we can do about it. Or is there? You see, the thing is that monetization works great because it benefits the advertisers. It doesn't benefit the creators. There's people out there who, who make music on YouTube uh, who I don't know who actually like make music videos and who who do things I hate to say it like that but who actually create content and they get fucking hosed because Jesus Christ you know it's not like like okay like Mary Doodles she's a very famous artist on YouTube and she is l one of the few lucky ones who can just do things on YouTube and make money but I guarantee you she's making a lot less nowadays than what she ever was. Why? Because YouTube doesn't give a shit about the creators. They don't. They give a shit about the revenue. And why give the creators more money? Like, give them less money and then you can keep more money for yourself. Hate to say it, that's business. Um, so, what can we do about it? What can we as YouTubers do about it? Well... I'm seriously thinking about joining uh, the site Patreon. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Like, Noodle, you're going to join a fucking site? Like, you're going to leave YouTube? No, I'm not going to fucking leave YouTube. Uh, get that thought out of your head. I'm not leaving YouTubes. Uh, I have no place to put this torch. I just noticed. Um... Whoa! Wait, you want to trade a book for money? Is it... Is it... What? Is it a... It's a written book. We found him. We found Maxwell House. Maxwell, you look good, man. Maxwell House, I'm so glad you found me. Oh, my God, Maxwell House, I've missed you so much. Now, get out of the way while I try to find a place for this candle. Um, I know, our fucking reunion was short-lived. Um, no, 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 I will not leave YouTube. Don't freak out. You're not going to have to join some third-party site to fucking watch my shit. No, 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 no. Get those fucking thoughts out of your head. Um, what it is, is a site called Patreon, uh, and I don't know if any of you actually know or have actually heard of it before. Um, C Squared is actually the one who showed it to me. At first, I thought it was, it's basically where you guys, it's, okay, it's, it's like Kickstarter. Um, but instead of you guys donating money for, like, a project or one big fucking project, you guys would donate money... And that money would go straight to the creators. That would be us. Um, it doesn't go to some advertising company. It doesn't go to some fucking third party bullshit. It comes straight to us. And it allows us as creators to, I guess, get more money and to live better lives. Um, ow. Jesus Christ. Spider. Speaking of living better lives. Oh, spider. All right. So here's how I thought it worked originally. I create content, and you guys have the ability to donate money. And people who donate money 
will be able to watch videos that other people can't watch. As it turns out, that's completely false. I, I don't know what the fuck I was thinking when I read that. Um, basically what it is, is I continue to create videos on YouTube. This site tracks my videos. And you guys can choose to donate a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars every time I put out a video or once a month or once a week. And you can even say, Noodle, to keep you motivated to making videos, I'm going to donate a dollar for every fucking video that you put out to a maximum of $10 a month. You can do that in this site. And what does that allow you to do? Well, it allows you to set a cap so you're not fucking spending all your money. You can say, I like this person, but I don't like them that damn much. I'm not going to donate my entire fucking fortune to them, but... I will say that if Noodle doesn't put out 10 fucking videos a month, I only put out two videos that month because I went on hiatus for whatever reason, then you would pay me $2. But if I put out a million videos that month, you would give me $10. Why? Because that was what your cap was. Um, and you set your cap for whatever you want, and I thought it was a pretty clever idea. Now, of course I would because I'm a creator. Um... How do I want to do this? I don't think I want them on the corners like that. Uh, I I guess that'll work. I'm trying to I'm trying to do lighting now. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, because we kind of have lighting issues in this village. Um, but yeah. All right. So that allows you to have a cap of uh, of monies that you donate, uh, and that's fine. And originally, when I first heard about this. Oh, 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 uh, let me go back. So, you donate the money, and that's fine. It all comes to me, and you guys can help support me and my family and help support the Misfits uh, so we can continue doing what we're doing without having to be stressed out, blah, blah, blah. Now, what are the benefits? The benefits is there are no benefits, I guess. Uh, you guys don't get pervy to, like, like, special videos that no one else can watch. Like, let's say, like, you're 12 years old. You don't even have a fucking job. You know your mom's not gonna fucking donate a dollar to me every time I put out a video. You fucking know that. I know that. Let's not be stupid. Um, but, instead, you can watch all my videos for free. Still, you don't, you don't have to fucking pay me anything. None of you have to. That's, it's complete, it's a completely optional thing. If you, out of the goodness of your fucking heart, want to do it, you could do it. If you wanted to do it for one month and you were like, what the fuck was I thinking? I don't want to do this shit no more. And you want to fucking stop? Then you can stop. No fucking harm, no foul. Um, and I thought that was pretty cool. Now, the only reason why I like this idea, uh, realistically, is because of this. I was sitting around and I was talking to a guy that I work with. And we were talking about video games. And he was telling me that he plays some fucking Korean MMO, and he played it for the longest fucking time. Don't ask me what it was. I wasn't paying attention because he was kind of weird. Um, but he played it, and then he told me that it was one of those pay-to-win kind of games. And in order for him to win, I guess, or to get high level or to go to certain dungeons or something, he needed to spend, like, 300 fucking dollars on like a fucking sword and some armor or some shit like that for his character 300 300 fucking dollars real dollars real american fucking dollars like i have to go to work for hours hours that's that's fucking 30 hours of work if you're making ten dollars an hour if you're making minimum wage plus taxes that's 60 hours that's like almost two weeks of fucking work for a goddamn fucking video game sword and armor to win some fucking bullshit MMO and he and this was a direct fucking quote I would have done it but I didn't exactly have all the money at the time so I just bought the sword you fucking kidding me you are you serious how much was the sword oh the sword was, was really cheap it was only a hundred bucks you spent a hundred Real dollars on a virtual sword for a fucking MMO. That's in Korean. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, who does that? And apparently a lot of people do. And I was thinking this while I was in line at fucking Jack in the Box getting me something and paying fucking $12 for a fucking burger. And I was thinking to myself, I was like, self, I would happily 
take that one meal that I would get and just fucking sacrifice it. Be like, okay, great. I don't eat Jack in the Box one time this month. And instead, my fucking 8 or $12 that I was going to spend at Jack in the Box can go to a good YouTuber that I like watching. I'll give it to Sips. No big deal. Harshly critical? Sure, the dude's got fucking awesome content. I'd fucking give him 12 bucks a month. What, what is that, a fucking meal at Jack in the Box? And I was thinking, if I would be willing to do that, and this jackass was willing to pay $100 for a fucking virtual sword and some pay-to-win site, why not? Why not just fucking put it out there and be like, hey, guys, I'm going to fucking have this site, and if you guys just feel like sacrificing a little bit of money each month just to, you know, see it, I don't know, me fucking make more videos and just support me, then why not? And it's not like I'm fucking begging you guys because you guys always have the option to say no. You just be like, nah, nah, I'm cool. Thanks, Noodle. I like watching your content, but I think I'll continue watching it for free. That's fine. But the option's out there. And it would allow us to get a little bit more. And it wouldn't take away from YouTube. It doesn't break YouTube policy. Um, nobody would get any foul. I would still get revenue from YouTube, so I still get revenue from views. So even the guys out there who couldn't afford to 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 give me a dollar to a month whatever the fuck like you're still fucking contributing by just watching my videos and I, just watching my videos in and, in and of itself is enough but this gives another option and i think that's what i like is the fact that it's another option so before i go and completely commit myself to this idea i want you guys' opinion i want you guys' real opinion about what you guys think about that um the website is called patreon uh, that's p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com. I'm going to go ahead and post a, uh, a link to that below. Um, and then the guy's got a video that's really cool. He kind of talks about what I talked about, but he explains his site way better than I do. Um, because I rant a lot and I'm terrible at explaining things. Um, but you guys can check it out. I may even include that link to his video uh, down below as well. Um, and I suggest you guys just check it out if you guys are just even remotely curious if you guys have YouTube channels out there And this sounds like something that you're interested in then look at look at it. It's free to fucking sign up It's free to join you don't have to commit anything and Like I said, it was another option, but I want to know what you guys think uh, Do you think I should do it? You think that I should have that option even if even if you can't afford like to fucking give me money or to give the misfits money i guess that's fine i still want to hear your opinion so uh go ahead and put that down below i think i've ranted on enough my alarm went off like 10 minutes ago i think um and we've just been kind of jumping around like idiots um let me see what i have left to do in this building um i think i'm pretty much done with this um i have a walkway i would like to get some wool and uh start like putting like like rugs i guess on that bottom floor but this is pretty good up here this doesn't need to be anything fancy it's just a place to sit down so people can read uh maybe like i can have like a longer booth that'll work and people can sit down here and read read up here in their books and like overlook the landscape uh look it's my house all right uh when we come back i think what i'm gonna do is i'm, I'm kind of out of topics uh i may just kind of catch you up with with how things are going um but i think what we're gonna start doing is I, I think i'm gonna call this one complete man i think i'm gonna call it com oh shit the roof oh my god i forgot about the roof okay well we're gonna have to go up there and replace the roof and fix it a little bit it's not that bad i kind of like the way it is we might like bring it out a little bit i'm definitely gonna replace that cobblestone with something else um and also if you like this texture pack let me know uh i didn't say it in the first video but i'm gonna go ahead and put like what the texture pack is and a link to it down below uh, I think it's like Ozo Craft or something like that. They just updated it to 1.7 for the new update. Um, you can check that out. Uh, I am using Optifine. Um, uh, but that's only because Strike insists on it because he has a fucking cape and he wants me to see his cape. Uh, I don't think a cape and a bikini go very well together. But hey, you know what? What do I know? <sighs> Alright, so I guess that's it. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to leave your opinion down below. I am really interested to hear what you guys have to say. Fuck you, Creeper! Fuck you! And um, and thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you all next time.